you put Kingston up here? I've been up there for a while. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's been staring at me all this time. The huh? old Kingslayer. Yeah. He was just the shop. Kingston, for everybody that doesn't know, he is the the Rottweiler in the framed photo right there that was gifted <laughs> to me by his owner, Mary Jo. Yep. Long time client of ours. Yes. Long time. Yeah. I actually almost adopted that dog. Did I ever tell you that? No. I was going to keep him. So Kingston, so this is actually kind of a funny story. So <clears throat> when I was first getting into dog training, um, I uh, w- was going to some seminars and stuff like that. And I can't mm. remember what seminar I went to, but there was this dog, Kingston, who was a Rottweiler with real Rottweiler rescue. And he was being fostered by a woman, Mary Jo, who's a longtime client of ours. Fantastic okay. client. Yeah. I've gotten Waffles, my new dog, Waffles. She fostered him prior to. Uh, my sister got a dog from her. She's brought a gazillion dogs to us for training at this point now. Mm-hmm. Wonderful woman. Very, very involved in the rescue world. She was fostering Kingston, and she kind of realized Kingston was, like, unadoptable, you know? So mm-hmm. she always gets the difficult dogs, and he was living with her. And, and Kingston's still alive. But mind you, like I said, he was just at the facility, just yeah. boarding recently. And um, he's getting old. I think he's, like, 11 now or some shit. Wow. Yeah. So so whatever. So Kingston was pretty young when she first got him. I think he was maybe two, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> he... Uh, he, she had took him to all these different seminars and she took him to, I don't really want to like name drop all these people, right? yeah. but there was like three very well-known trainers. I believe she took him to their seminars and basically each one of these individuals was like, I don't know what to do with this dog. <laughs> oh, wow. He was just a, he was a pain in the ass, yeah. right? Like he's a really, really confident, headstrong Rottweiler. He's a big dog. He's a strong dog. You try to correct me, give you attitude over it. Yeah. Super fucking leash reactive etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah right and um you know my kind of young new dog trainer cocky brain was like i'll fucking train this dog. <laughs> right so i remember reaching out to her and and this is you know this is you know advice or called advice whatever for for new dog trainers out there but i used to do this all the time where i would i would know people in the industry that had dogs that were like untrainable yeah. right and i would just message him and be like yo bring the dog over let's let's see what we can get done right yeah. so i messaged her i told her let's see what we can get done with this dog right she brought him in for a lesson he was a pain in the ass he was definitely difficult but i i kind of i felt confident i knew i knew what to do with him so i told mm-hmm. her i was like let's just do a board and train with him i think i i think i did it for free i'm pretty sure i said mm-hmm. i said let's do a board and train leave him here for a month i'll train him i'll send him home and me and kingston Fucking, he wound up staying with me for, I think, like six weeks, something like that. Not because he needed more time, Mm -hmm. but just because I liked him. And he was a foster dog of hers. He didn't have a home or anything. He would hang out with, at the time, I just had uh, Vinny and Vera. He'd hang out with fucking Vinny and Vera. And, uh, you know, he was... He's just a cool dog. I really liked him. We got yeah. all the training done. He did really, really well, you know, and I was considering adopting him. I really was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think at the time, though, I was just, just by myself. I thought three dogs sounded like a lot. Yeah. You know, at the time, I think I had just moved into the Heights West location uh-huh. when we opened it, the, the current okay. Miracle location. I was living there initially when I first got the space, and I was, like, overwhelmed of, like, oh, my God, I'm, like, have to, I'm here. I'm with yeah. the dogs all the time. I already have two dogs. God, add a third one to it. Sounds like a lot. Uh, but he was a fucking sweet dog, man. Still is a sweet dog. Yeah. He's, he's just he's just the easy boy now, you know. He just comes, and he's still got that attitude, you know. He'll still yeah. kind of give you a look every now and then, but he just comes and chills and... Yeah. mingles and hangs out and he just wound up turning into a phenomenal dog. Mary Jo obviously formally adopted him, you know, maybe five years ago, something like that. Mm-hmm. After she had already had him for like four or five years <clears throat> and um, turned out to be a great, a great dog. She, um, she, she has, I mean, he hangs out. He used to like, he could not be around other dogs mm-hmm. and she currently, she's got, she fosters in and out all the time. He'll just kind of chill with them and, and he's just turned out to be great. So yeah. Good dog. 